saying now i watched carcino for life's video on anthony davis uh coming to the lakers i mean he was correct with a lot of things but this is where i don't agree with okay and this is regarding Kawhi leonard because this video is going to show you where i think the reason why i think Kawhi leonard will uh, join the clippers instead of the lakers now i'm not trying to sound like somebody just being biased i'm not just saying this because i'm a clipper fan but this is just the obvious truth Kawhi Leonard does uh, is better off when he's the uh, leader of a team. Kawhi Leonard does not like joining other superstars, okay? Let's just be honest, man. Kawhi is not that type of dude, man. Kawhi is, Kawhi is not in the super teams. Chris Carter has said this. Uh, Chris Bizarre said it. I mean, a lot of analysts have said this already. You know, uh, Kawhi Leonard is not the type of guy that's going to join a LeBron James. Okay, let's... let's I'm just going to be quite honest with y'all. Like, Kawhi and LeBron have unfinished business. Remember, LeBron James beat Kawhi Leonard in 2013 for a championship when he was on the Miami Heat. And then Kawhi came back the following year, led that team back to the NBA championship and defeated him. Y'all remember when um, they had to carry LeBron James off the court? Okay, so that was, that was the series where Kawhi Leonard proved just how good he is. All right? Remember, this is the saying, the famous saying always goes, right? To be the best, you got to defeat the best. You got to be better than the rest, right? Well, Kawhi Leonard wants to be better than LeBron James. It's the same reason why you'll never see Kevin Durant going over there. Okay, they're not not every superstar wants to join LeBron James. Anthony Davis is the only exception, right? Because let's just be honest, man. LeBron James went on his way to recruit Anthony Davis. He took Anthony Davis out to dinner, which I don't understand. Why would you take the, the team, you the enemy... You you just you face that team. You just got done facing this team. You're gonna take the uh, the NEB out to dinner like that. That makes no sense. And to me, that should have been uh, LeBron James should have been caught for tampering. Because I have never seen no player do that, right? No, LeBron James made it very obvious. Okay, AD decided to leave his other agent for uh, Rich Paul. Okay, so that was obvious what was going down, right? Now Lakers got what they wanted. LeBron is making it very clear this is him as AD show. So you got to understand. So if you are a Kawhi Leonard, a KD, a Kyrie Irving, especially Irving, right? Remember, Irving left the first time. He didn't want to be with, around LeBron James because he wanted to lead his own team. Because when the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers won a championship, they didn't give K, uh, Kyrie Irving no credit. Kyrie didn't even get the finals MVP like he should have, like he thought he should have, right? So that's why he told David Griffin and Dan Gilbert to trade him from the uh, Cavaliers and trade him over, right? Which they deliver him over to the Celtics, where he is now, which suppose he's opting out. But again, man, none of these superstars want to join LeBron. Because again, let's just be honest, he's 35 years old, right? And yeah, LeBron James still may be like the best player in the league. The man is still aging. And he just now had his first serious injury last year where he missed a lot of games, okay? The Lakers don't even necessarily have that good of a roster. Because let's just be honest, man. The Lakers are better off using that money they got and just signing a lot of role players. They don't. They can't afford to get another superstar right now. Because if they get a third superstar, and that's just the only thing I, don't, I disagree with Shaq. Okay, I, Shaq, I understand you trying to win, but getting a third superstar means you don't get them. You can't afford these other good role players. Like a Marcus All or Danny Green, you're not going to be able to afford to get them. Because at the, end, at the end of the day, a lot of these players want their money. AD is still not going to wave off his max. AD is owed for a max deal out of the contract he got from New Orleans. Okay? AD obviously wants to be there long term, so he's going to want all his money. You're going to need money to re-sign AD next season. Okay? And then on top of that, Rob Palenka traded away all his draft picks. So how do the Lakers uh, expect to keep rebuilding? How do they expect to build up their team if you trade away all your draft picks? See, that's going to be a downfall. Because as good as LeBron and AD are... If you don't have no role players, you don't got no shooters, no guards, no point guard or shooting guard, which they don't have because Rondo, Stevenson, and the other guy, was Reggie Book, they're, on, they're free agents as of now. They don't even have to necessarily re-sign. And then on top of that, you look at the management the Lakers have, right? Okay, because let's not forget that Magic Johnson openly said on air that Rob Palenka is untrustworthy. Palenka stabbed him in the back and had him out of there. Okay, so that's going. that's a bad look. But again, yeah, LeBron and AD are great. Don't get me wrong. They have a backcourt like, uh, they have a frontcourt like uh, Duncan and uh, Duncan and Robinson. But let's just be honest, man. AD has injury problems too. And then LeBron is starting to, uh, body's starting to get banged up. You know what I'm saying? Father time is starting to catch that man. 
Okay? You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, the man started getting injuries in the late in his career. So, but Kawhi Leonard, Kawhi Leonard has a chance to make history. Because already he helped a Toronto team that never had a championship in their 24-year existence finally get to the finals and win. Yes, KD and Clay Thompson got hurt, but that's all part of the game. Okay, people get injured. But people watch this video, I need y'all to understand this. Kawhi Leonard has the chance to go to leave Toronto, go to the LA Clippers, which is another potential team. Because if you look how good Doc Rivers played just last season with what he had, with Montrez Harold, Shy Gilgis Alexander. Okay, you had Jerome Robinson, you had Sin Davis Thornwell. You had Tyrell, you had Tyrone Wallace, Danilo Gallinari, who by the way stayed fully healthy for like the for like a long time, the first time in a while. Okay? And then Lou Williams, who by the way is the best six man of all time. Which till this day I don't understand why they don't ever put Lou Williams in the All-Star game. Lou Williams deserves to be in that All-Star game, man. He's a superstar without a shadow of a doubt, right? And then you've had Gortat, who you traded, and then you had you had Zubak, right? So they was able to take Zubak. They was able to get Zubak, and then you traded Tobias Harris, which was their best score, for Landry Shamit, Wilson Chandler, okay, and another draft, and a, like two draft picks, right? Which Boston now has the um this year's, but they have the um 2020 one, right? Mike Scott is also going to be traded. Then they trade um Avery Bradley, who wasn't working out for them too well, for Jamaica Green, Garrett Temple. Everybody thought that team was tank. Doc Rivers said, "No, we're not tanking. We're gonna compete." What did the Clippers do? The Clippers almost became a 60-win team. I mean, they were a few wins away from 60. They were in the 50s, right? So again, it shows you how well this team played. And if I'm not, and y'all correct me wrong, I believe it was uh, it was high 40s, early 50s. But again, that team played very well. Okay, for what they had, Doc Rivers has continued to prove time and time again that why he's one of the best coaches in the league. Remember. Doc is one of six coaches, if I'm not mistaken, six or seven. Yeah, he's one of very few coaches in his league that have NBA championships, that have won an NBA title in the last 20 years. Okay? Let's get that out the way now. The Lakers don't have that. Rob Palenka, Kidd, or Lionel Hollins never got to the NBA Finals. Okay? And in the case of Kidd and, uh, Kidd and uh, Vogel, they've had numerous chances. Remember, Vogel did get fired from Indiana because he couldn't get the job done. Okay, he got fired from Indiana and went to Orlando and did nothing. Jason Kidd got fired in Brooklyn and got fired out of Milwaukee. You had Giannis and you had Chris Middleton. Okay, still can't get the job done. Lionel Hollins, yes, Lionel Hollins got the Memphis Grizzlies to the Western Conference Finals, but they got swept by San Antonio. Okay, he hasn't had a job until now. But again, like they're not bad coaches. Okay, those are coaches that get, get definitely get you to the playoffs. But again, Doc Rivers is, uh, has a better strategy. His system has proven to work, okay? And I'm going to say it like I said it before. Jerry West, along with Mike Winger and Lawrence Frank and Steve Barmer are going to give Doc Rivers a roster he had when he was in Boston in 2007, the summer of 07. Basically, Kawhi Leonard might just be that Kevin Garnett, okay? I'm going to tell you that now. Kawhi Leonard's going to be like that Kevin Garnett. Then they're going to look for another um, shooter. They're going to look for that Ray Allen next. And then when they get their round, they're going to look for a big man like Vucevic. Okay? I'm just telling you what's in the plans now. The Clippers got over $48 million in cash space. Around $48 million. That's way more than what the Lakers can do. On top of that, once they, once these other, um, once the players that's currently going to be free agents see that Kawhi Leonard is in the building, meeting with the um, Clippers, they'll be happy to resign. Once they know that uh, Kawhi Leonard's contract has been secured with, with the LA Clippers, and Kawhi is going to be joining the Clippers, Next season coming up, best believe, Jermichael Green, Garrett Temple, and even Pat Beverly will all be willing to negotiate their contracts and stay with the Clippers. Pat Beverly, what did he say on TMZ? I want Kawhi Leonard on the Clippers. Yeah, Beverly's going to entertain going to other teams, but he's not going to leave this Clipper team. He's a fan favorite already. You know what I'm saying? Pat Beverly gives us defense that we need. He's like the Derek Fisher of our team. But don't, don't get it twisted. The Clippers are going to also look for that Kyrie Irving. Or they might go off that Pat Bradley. Who knows? All I know is that Jerry West has been proven. That man is a winner. Okay? Jerry West has not really failed at any roster he's built. Even the Memphis Grizzlies, even though the Grizzlies did not win a championship, that team still got the second round and eventually made it to the Western Conference. Marcus All, okay, Mike Conley, those are Jerry West's boys. All right? 
So let's just keep it real. And even if it wasn't for Jerry West, the Lakers wouldn't have power. Mark's older brother, which, by the way, man, Mark Gasol finally got his ring. Okay, just like his older brother. But again, and even then, let's say Kawhi does go to Clippers. There's a chance Mark Gasol and Danny Green might follow him. So the Clippers will automatically have some more depth there. So just in case they lose Jermichael Green, they lose Pat Beverly, or they lose um, Gary Temple, you'll have Mark Gasol and Kawhi Leonard willing to join uh, willing to join uh, Leonard, right? Because Kyle Lowry will most likely stay in um, Toronto since he's a captain with it, since De- Tra- DeRozan was traded. But there's a chance that Mark Gasol, won't, and, uh, Mark Gasol and, and Danny Green, they'll follow Kawhi Leonard to the Clippers. Danny Green and Mark Gasol won't mind playing for them, especially when this is a team with Jerry West. And you've seen Doc Rivers. Again, they know what Doc Rivers could do. Danny Green, especially, I'll tell you what Doc Rivers is capable of. Since Danny Green was on them Cleveland Cavalier teams when, the, um, when they lost to the Celtics. Back when Ray Allen, Garnett, and Pierce was together. Right? So, Carcino for life, you got to understand this. Kawhi Leonard's not going to join the Lakers. And see, Carcino, you all like this too because you don't like LeBron James anyway. Now, Carcino, I take back everything you said about... I take, everything, take back everything I said about you when it comes to LeBron. You are correct, man. Because it seems like the league is trying to give LeBron James help. Okay, LeBron James gets what he wants. But again, for Kawhi Leonard to be a clipper, and I'm going to tell you all something right now. And this goes back to what I was, I was just getting to, right? Kawhi Leonard has a chance to leave Toronto, who he just got get them ring. Because remember, Toronto was Toronto never had a championship ring. Now, if he goes to the Clippers and help them win a championship, let's say they out, they beat out Anthony Davis and LeBron James, since the Warriors ain't going to be in the in the finals next year. With Durant and Klay Thompson injured, they're out. Okay, they're, they're, they're going to tank for a season. Like Steph Curry alone, Steph and Draymond, and you know what I'm saying some of those role players and Iggy and Livingston, they'll still be the playoffs, but they're not going to go to the finals. So the Clippers got a perfect opportunity right now to seize their moment. This is one of the reasons why Jerry West decided to resign. But check this out though. So Jerry West is going to try to bring Kawhi Leonard to the Clippers on the one bomber, and Kawhi Leonard has a chance to take this Clipper team to the championship, which the Clippers never had. Now, if he could get the Clippers an NBA title just next season in 2020, oh, without a shadow of a doubt, Kawhi Leonard would be the greatest player in NBA history. Okay? He'll, like behind, next to Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson and uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Bill Russell, and Kobe Bryant, Kawhi Leonard will clearly be on that Mount Rushmore. That's definite. Okay? So if you Kawhi Leonard, what's... What's worth more to you right now? Yeah, you can join AD and LeBron and have the risk of your team not even having enough backup depth. Because, yeah, you got Kyle Kuzma, but Kyle Kuzma is not enough. All right? Because, again, for the Lakers to get Kawhi Leonard, you got to understand how much salary they got to try to they gotta try to save up. You got you to gotta understand how much money that is. They're not going to have money to sign all three of those guys. And you got to sign AD, too, next season. That's not going to happen. And, plus, how is Kawhi Leonard... AD and LeBron going to be on the same team when Kawhi does not play the two guard. He's not a shooting guard. Y'all got to understand that, man. These, these players like Kawhi Leonard, they're better off on their natural position. Kawhi Leonard is a small forward. He's not a shooting guard. He's not going to play the two. Okay? That doesn't work for him. He's more comfortable at the three. Yeah, LeBron may, may be happy playing all these other positions, but Kawhi, no. Okay? And even AD. AD is another ball-dominant uh, ball dominant player. Okay? And again, man, Vogel and uh, Kid, they're not necessarily that good as far as getting you to no championship either, man. Let's, let's, let's be honest right now because Vogel and had Lance Stevenson, George Hill, you have Paul George and Granger at one time with Roy Hibbert when Roy Hibbert was actually good. It was like actually a top center league and you still can get to the finals. Okay? Let's just be honest now. Kid, Jason Kidd has never gotten out the first round as a head coach. All right? And look how many time it took Lionel Hollins to get to where he get to that Western Conference. So again, man, the Clippers, on the other hand, again, their roster is set. Okay? They got no tension. Everybody's happy over there. Okay? Ballmer is a multi billionaire. It's a man who owns Microsoft. So he has way more money than the bus family. Okay, so let's just be honest. For Kawhi to come back home to California and to be in the Clippers, that would be perfect for him. Because Kawhi is the type of player who likes he likes to prove himself. And Kawhi Leonard understands that if he wins a championship for the Clippers, that's way more than winning a championship for the Lakers and have the Lakers be tied with Boston. Because let's just, let's just remember too, Lakers are still not the better franchise. The Boston Celtics are. And the way he's looking, it won't take Danny uh, Ainge much longer to get the Celtics back in the finals. With LeBron James out, all, uh, all the Celtics got to do is keep 
Terry Rozier, keep uh, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown together. Because they'll easily find him another um, big man. They got that first round draft pick. Okay? It, it, it's not hard. The Celtics got a chance to get to the finals. They just, Kyrie Irving just not gelling with them. Especially since Gordon Hayward's over there. They're just not working. But anyways. No, nah, like, all I'm saying is, man, I'm sorry. Carcino for life, Shannon Sharp. I'm sorry I have to tell you this, but no, Kawhi Leonard's not going to the Lakers. Mm -mm. No, that, and that's just that's not me being biased. It's not just me predicting. It's just an obvious fact, okay? Yeah, if he re-signs with, with the Raptors, so be it, okay? He won him a championship. That'll be his team. But you know, if he comes to the Clippers, then best believe that's who the Clippers is banking on. This is why the Clippers have been quiet. <sighs> Excuse me. Because Adam Silver finding Doc Rivers, which I told y'all in my other video, that was clearly... That was clear. That was just wrong, man. That was just, I don't know. That was, I was just going. That's, that's being a little too harsh. I feel that Doc Rivers was. It wasn't fair that Doc Rivers got fined for comparing Kawhi Leonard to Michael Jordan when he said nothing wrong. He was Stephen A. Smith asked him a question about that. That's still not going to stop Kawhi Leonard from joining the Clippers. That's not going to stop Jerry West from recruiting Kawhi Leonard. And knowing Jerry West again, man, Jerry West is good enough to recruit anybody. That's the one thing he had over Magic Johnson. And let's keep this real, too, man. Magic Johnson is the only reason why LeBron even came to the Lakers. Now that Magic Johnson's not there, Rob Palenka don't have that no more. Because honestly, man, Magic Johnson ain't going to want to have nothing to do with Rob Palenka. Let's, let's keep that real now, man. Let's just be quite honest with you, man. Rob Palenka is the reason why Magic Johnson is no longer in that Lakers building. I wouldn't be surprised if Magic don't have nothing to do with the Lakers, period. The only time you're going to see Magic Johnson coming around the Lakers have any business to do with the Lakers if Rob Palenka's out here. But as long as Rob Palenka is still in... In the office with the Lakers, Magic Johnson ain't coming back over there. He ain't going to deal with them no more. Okay? And speaking of Magic Johnson, Magic will probably go back to uh, managing the Dodgers. He got the spark. So, Magic Johnson got other business. He ain't got time for that. Because you Rob Palenka, man, you can't be talking behind Magic Johnson's back. You got you to respect Magic Johnson's opinion, too. And the problem with Rob Palenka, he wants too much power to himself. Rob is too power hungry, and he don't know what he's doing. Let's be honest now, man, because even before Magic got involved as the president for them two years, Rob Palenka was doing a terrible job with Jim Buss, as it was. Okay? Let's just be honest, man. Rob Palenka don't make the best moves. This man has already traded away, like, five of the players they drafted in the first round, from Julius Randle, Jordan Clarkson, Larry Nance Jr. I mean, DeAndre Russell, I understand, but DeAndre Russell did become an all-star since he left the Lakers, right? And now Lonzo Ball is gone. Brandon Ingram's gone. That's like six guys already. Okay? You're not going to be able to build a strong core trading away all your guys you traded. You uh, you traded, you traded let go of your guys in the first round for elite players. Especially when you, one of your elite players is 35 years old and aging. Okay? Because again, man, this is going to be a very long season. AD and LeBron going to have to play a lot of minutes. And the Lakers don't even have depth right there. They don't have no core developed. Whereas the Clippers got a core. Montrez Hell has already proved himself, okay? He's already established himself as one of the league's best premier forwards, okay? Lou Williams is the best six man of all time. And again, I don't understand why Lou Williams is not, a, not in the All-Star game. But Lou Williams is good for any team, okay? Lou Williams is guaranteed to get you 25 or more points. This man has had games we scored 40 already, right? Again, look how Lou Williams played against the Golden State Warriors. And that should let you know what time it is, right? That man has caused the Clippers to beat the OKC Thunder, which they never done in a long time in the regular season. He's beat the Milwaukee Bucks. He even defeated the Golden State Warriors with Clay and uh, Kevin Durant healthy. Okay? On top of that, you got Shy Gilgis Alexander and Landry Shummett. And I'm going to be very honest. Since Shy Gilgis Alexander has been the point guard of that team, look how well the Clippers have played. Gilgis got is 6'6, six, six, all right? About the same. Size Kobe. Yeah, Kobe just an inch taller than him, but he about the same height. This is why Jerry West told the uh, Clippers to trade for Shy Gilgis Alexander. Give them um give the Hornets Miles Bridges and give Shy Gilgis Alexander. Now you see why. Landry Shamit is a sniper. You see how good he shot he shot the ball, right? Again, he can shoot he, he can shoot just like uh just like CJ McCullough. Okay. Again, Shamit was able to give us that push. Alright. And then on top of that. You still got Gallinari. Now, yes, there's a lot of people that say if you trade Gallinari, you free up more cash space. They may decide to keep Gallinari, but Gallinari is still proving himself. Gallinari is showing you what he can do when he's fully healthy. Gallinari is a good shooter. He can rebound well inside the paint, and he, is good. he can pass really well. Gallinari proved himself last year. So, again, man, the Clippers already got depth. They already got a core developed already, as it is. And you got Jerome Robinson on the bench, 
who's getting, who still got time to develop. So again, man, the Lakers got a core already. Okay, so the the free agents who go, the people who gonna be free agents. I know if they go to Clippers, they already got depth there. They already got a roster they could work with. The Lakers ain't still ain't got nobody like that yet, right? Yeah, you got Kuzma, but who else you got besides AD and LeBron? All right, yeah, you have Javale McGee, but that's it. Jerry West again has a plan. It's just like Skip Bayless say, you don't bet against the icon. Even Max Kellerman said that the icon is in the building. Okay, so these analysts know what time it is. Remember, it was Jerry West who built that Golden State Warrior team you see now. And yeah, Golden State didn't win a championship this year. But again, they did win three NBA championships in that five-year span. They've been to five NBA finals for three championships. That is really, really good. Okay? So again, to you Laker fans, I'm sorry, man. Nobody cares. And this is to Shannon Sharp, okay? Anybody out there that's being bi that's a Laker fan, again, I'm a Clipper fan. Let's just be honest. We don't care that y'all got 16 championships. Let's just be honest. Y'all ain't did nothing in six years, all right? To all my Facebook friends and family, okay, I understand that. I'm not ashamed to be a Clipper fan. To be a Clipper fan right now is the best time to be a Clipper fan. Why? Because, again, the Clippers are on the verge of having that championship team. It's coming, all right? So, Carcino, uh, Kawhi ain't going to the Lakers. I'm sorry, man. Kawhi Leonard wants to beat LeBron James. He, and I'm going to tell, tell you this honestly, too. And this is going to be the storyline next season. If Kawhi Leonard goes to the Clippers, it's going to be the battle for King of L.A. It means he's going to battle LeBron James out for that throne. Since all y'all say LeBron James is King of L.A., Kawhi Leonard just won a championship. And if he signs with the Clippers, he just won a championship. He's, the, he's a defending NBA champion. So who's going to be the real King of L.A.? All right. This is another reason why Kawhi is going to come to the Clippers because he wants to prove himself. Right. He wants to show that he can, he can bear, he, he wants to put the Clippers on that, on that, on that, uh, on that dynasty status. So this is who the Clippers have been focused on. This is who the Clippers scouts have been focused on. The Clippers know that if they can get Kawhi Leonard, they can basically, things will change for the better. And I'm warning y'all now, this is for all of YouTube, this is for everybody watching this. And Clipper Dario tell you this himself, this is not the same Clipper team, Okay. The team, the Clippers, the, the, the San Diego Clippers down on Sterling had, that's them days are over. No more Donald Sterling. Doc Rivers is, is coaching only. His responsibility is to coach that team and get that team to the championship. Okay? All the front office stuff, the signings, all that. The Clippers actually have a management team to do all of that. Because Lawrence Frank and Mike Rain have done an excellent job. Jerry West has done an excellent job. Thanks to all three of them, the Clippers have saved up 48 million cash space to do what they have not been able to do in a very long time. Okay? So if you're a Clipper fan, now's the time to be proud. Now's the time to stand up for your team. Me personally, I'm happy. Okay? Because I don't care how many championships the Lakers get. The Lakers will probably win more championships. I don't care. As long as the Clippers win that win a championship, even next season, I'm happy. As long as Kawhi Leonard signs with us and can deliver us a championship, I'm happy. And even if the Kawhi Leonard doesn't come to the Clippers and he decides to stay in Toronto, there's other free agents out there. You got Vucevic, you got Kyrie Irving, you got Kemba Walker. Okay? There's Danny Green, there's Marcus Hall, there's plenty of other guys. You got Chris Middleton. Okay, there's plenty of other guys out there. There's Harrison Barnes, Jimmy Butler. Okay, he ain't the only guy out there. But I, I will say this, man. We have, the Clippers have a very strong chance of signing Kawhi Leonard. They literally, next to um, Raptors, the, the Clippers, I would give the Clippers maybe like a, I wouldn't say 90% chance because, again, Toronto has a 90% chance, but it's very high. I say... 87, about 89, say 89.9% chance that Kawhi will sign with the Clippers. Yeah, there's a 90% chance he, he signs with the Raptors. He resigns, but there's a, he, if he goes to LA, it's with the Clippers. He ain't, he's not finna meet with the Lakers. Now, Woj, I'm mean, honest, Woj was spot on with LeBron James coming to LA. Woj, I'm pretty sure, is correct with this. Because what did Kawhi Leonard say in that interview that was asking him early in the season? Kawhi Straight said, The Lakers is my family's team. That's not my team. That's not what I want to do. Okay? He did say that in his own mouth. If you don't believe me, you can go pull up that interview. It's out there. Man, if I get the chance, I'll post a link in the description of this video. Kawhi said it in his own mouth. He grew up an Iverson fan. He's not a Laker fan. Okay? So, again, man, I'm happy. I'm excited. But, no, man, Carcino for life. I'm sorry to tell you this, though. That this whole thing with um the, the league trying to um make Lakers a super team, that's just not going to happen the way y'all you think it's going to happen. And that's just my opinion. I respect your opinion, Carcino, because you've been right about, correct about LeBron James, but LeBron James' time is winding up already. I'm sorry, man. 
there's going to be a new king in L.A., and that's going to be Kawhi Leonard. All right? Yeah, the current king of L.A., yeah, the king, we all know who the kings of L.A. are, and that's Magic and Kobe, but as far as current generation, that throne going to go to Kawhi Leonard. Because let's just be honest, LeBron James lost is three for eight in the NBA Finals. That man lost eight NBA championships, okay? Yeah, I respect LeBron James. He's one of my favorite forwards of all time, but let's just be honest. He's three for eight in the NBA championship. Kawhi Leonard is two for one right now. All right? The team the Kawhi Leonard lost to, he got his revenge against, which was the Miami Heat. He just beat the Golden State Warriors. Okay? So let's just be honest, man. And don't, and y'all, and, and for you, some of you Laker, you, you Clipper haters, you Laker fans who bag and hate on the Clippers, don't get mad if the Clippers do get Kawhi Leonard. It's not the end of the world. Again, y'all got 16 championships. Why are y'all so worried about if the Clippers win one championship? Okay? For real, man. Don't, don't, don't be worried about it. Okay? Don't, don't be scared. You got nothing to be worried about. Let the Clippers get them a championship if Kawhi Leonard comes, man. Let's, let, let us have that one championship. That's all I care about. I'll be able to die happy man if the Clippers just get one finals. They win one championship, I'm happy. Okay? Because that'll finally end that argument, that end that discussion. I'm gonna be and when the Clippers do win a championship, oh, I got video coming for that. Because I'm gonna celebrate with my cigar. I'm gonna have me um, a thing of Scott. I'm gonna have me a, a glass of uh, a wine, whether it be lying or liquor, I don't care. I'm gonna celebrate. And I will be at that parade proudly, going live at that. So again, I know I got high hopes. But I'm going to do that because I'm a true fan. But I'm going to ride out with my Clippers to the end. Anyways, folks, that's the video. But again, I just want to clarify that now. I'm just going to let you know what's getting ready to happen, man. So to Clipper fans, shout out to the Clippers fan page on, on Facebook. I'm part of. Again, keep hope alive. Keep your fingers crossed. There's a strong chance that Kawhi Leonard will sign with us after all. Anyways, folks, y'all stay blessed. Stay tuned. I'll see you soon.